I'd like you to meet Philip Glass. He's the Thank you. Thank you. There was a very fine cellist, Wendy Sutter. Uh, I knew her. She, we were, she was working on some, some work with me in New York, and she told me that Tan Dunn had done a concerto, uh, and she had played it uh, with the La Jolla Orchestra. And she, I said, well, do you want to hear the orchestra? I said, yeah, sure. She gave me the, the CD that they had a recording of the performance. It sounded terrific. I said, well, they sound very good. She said, well, they want me to play another concerto. Uh, why don't we play your concerto? I said, well, it's... If we do, it'll be the American premiere. In fact, it'll be the North American premiere. Usually as a soloist, the orchestra or the presenter is deciding what they want you to play. So it, this is a very unique opportunity where I can actually say, hey, look, I've got this thing. And, let's, and to have the conductor and the orchestra agree. So. Um, the piece had only been performed in, I think, New Zealand, Scotland, and China. And uh, Philip hasn't and never attended any of those performances, so this is his first time hearing the piece as well. I, I knew Steve as a very fine musician and that he would be conducting it. He was enthusiastic, and so I said, great, I'm finally going to get to hear, hear a piece which is now six years old. I never got to hear it. It's like meeting one of your children, and suddenly they're six years old and you missed everything else. <laughs> when a composer is there, you have a certain kind of heightened sense of responsibility. But in a way, the heightened sense of responsibility is to the score, to the composer via the score. So when Philip was there, we weren't trying to make him happy in any kind of vague way. We were trying to make him happy because we played his piece. <laughs> I've just come from a rehearsal, and I've heard it for the first time live, and uh, I must say that uh, the balances have held up very well. I felt like this was the place to do the premiere, you know? It's, it's like a, being in a big candy store. You can take what you want and everything's, you know, and, and try everything, and they're willing to, you know, they're willing to try things. They don't have any they're not jaded, they don't sit on that stage and come to rehearsals every day for, you know. You know, this is an orchestra with a gas pedal. I mean, if you, if you step on the gas, that thing will go. And the musicians in that orchestra, you know, put their, put everything, their heart and soul into these performances. So when we came to play Philip's piece, um, you know, this wasn't a, 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 an orchestra, you know, punching in the clock and then looking at their watches and thinking, okay, when can we leave? This was an orchestra that would do what it took to make the piece work. I love writing music. I don't let a day pass without writing music if I can help it. I find time to do things that I want to do. I also feel that uh, I've been very fortunate to live in a time when there's so many talented uh, directors and uh, performers, uh, 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 choreographers, uh, writers. Uh, I, I'm inspired by their work and I'm drawn to it and that's one of the reasons why I'm working in so many mediums. Okay, we can take the mute sound? Yeah. Okay. I think they, they're, they're just a little bit too far away and yeah. let's just take the mute okay, sound. good, thank you. I think it sounds good. I can, good. yeah. Anything yeah. else that you'd like to Not do? right now, no, no. We'll continue and we'll... Yeah, continue. okay. We wanted to play well for him. He's a very important composer in the, uh, in the contemporary music scene and, you know, he's, a, he's also a, a, a friend and so we, we, we want to make him happy. When Philip and I were studying the piece again, listening to the piece, the concerto, together this summer, you know, he turned to me and he was like, that's a, I wrote a really good piece, this is a really good piece, you know, he'd kind of forgotten about it, you know, and I was like, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's gonna, it's gonna have a long life in the cello repertoire, so.